Libra. What it got to him, Libra? I am back at it again. Did you miss me, girl? Because I wasn't going too long. Did you miss me, though? <laughs> you can miss me. It's okay. You can tell me, girl. Listen. <laughs> It is me, Red is she, Red is V, Red is Scorpion, Red Tarot, and I am back at it again to let my Libras know what the energy is surrounding you for September. 2020, show me the money energy. Yes, God. Yes, God. So we done switched up the flow to let you know how it's going to go. So shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who has liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked any one of these videos at any time, okay? So shout out to every one of y'all. Let me get my big face up off the camera. Okay, I am reloaded. So listen, if there's anybody that would like to book a personal and private reading with Mira, she Vera, Scorpion Red Tarot, only thing you need to do is click that About tab on my YouTube page, okay? Um, I do video readings on Instagram. If you do not have an Instagram, we can get you set up on um, Google Hangouts. It's a free app to download after we do our reading. If you don't want to keep it, you can delete it. But it is a good app to have if you want to communicate with people and don't want to give them your phone number. But if you only thing you want to do is exchange email. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. Let's put you up on okay? game, okay? Put you up on okay? game, okay? Listen, listen. So if you guys have any questions about anything, um, like I said, just reach out to me on um, Instagram. Uh, the link is in the about tab. And my email is scorpionredsevero at, uh, at gmail, okay? Um, if any one of you guys would like to send any love and support to the page, thank you guys so much for all of the bookings. Thank you guys for all of the decks that you guys have been donating through the Amazon wish list. Like you guys have been so freaking amazing and supportive and Libra you guys are my most viewed um sign for August so that's why I'm starting off with you guys so big shout out to every last one of you guys um we're gonna get it popping as you know we're gonna always give thanks to the creator and give praise in every in every way and every day before we ask for guidance so Father God I thank you right now for just blessing us and just you know keeping us in a place where we're just highly abundant and just like covered in all things and all ways father god um we are just progressively moving ahead father god we are keeping our head up regardless of the challenges that's been going on i know a lot of kids about to go back to school we about to do these zoom uh you know we gonna keep ourselves focused <laughs> We gonna let this. We we not gonna let nothing stress us to get in our way, Father God. We know what we came here to do. We came here to slay with no delay. We did not come here to play, Father God. So just give us guidance. Give us the steps that we need. Give us the guidance that we need to help us do what we need to do during this phase in our life, Father God. We thank you for keeping Libra covered. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right. So let's see what we got for you guys. Y'all know I've been doing this video with putting the cards down, face down when I'm uh, putting the things out. So let's see how it rock. So Father God, give me guidance for Libra. Going right off the top. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Father God, give me Pray for Libra. September. What's going on in the cycle of life right now? In September. Libras. All right. Let's see what's going on in love. What's going on in love with Libra? I don't want to do reversals. Hmm. Let me leave it. Clarify love for Libra. And y'all see I got my little dusty whore cards on today. <laughs> oh yes ma'am. Yes ma'am we're doing it today girl. We are doing it today. We got the little butty naked cards, little butty naked, you hear me? Little butty naked, girl, yes, now. Who be getting that butty naked? This <laughs> doing the corona, they've been trying to put it on you, baby. Yes, what y'all been doing? Let's see what doors are opening this season 
for a reason. Let's see what doors you will explore. Mmm. This one looks like you need to clean up something. Something needs to be cleansed, honey. It looks like a nice little barn house or something, but it's like if you was to just really get in there and put a little elbow grease and a little blood, sweat, and tears in there, it would be a really nice refurbished barn or something. Or, like, um, that looks like an old, like, colonial, uh, um, historical house that someone needs to... Pay attention to like clean up this this foundation, and then you got this door right here. Sunset. I'm getting hard work and like it's like I feel like there's like a, a complete rehaul. You know what I'm saying? Like is that is that the word that you use where it's like your um. Oh, oh, not rehaul, the recall. It's like you call them back your materials or something. It's like something that you put out. I feel like you're recalling it back. I feel like you're recalling something. And it's like you're looking at everything. I feel like you don't even want to put that out no more. And you're looking at your environment. And I, you want a complete rehaul or recall of your environment. Um, It's like... I don't have to sell what I have. I could just like really put some attention and love into it and I can make it better. It's like an abandoned house, an abandoned like workplace or a space or something is like abandoned and it just got really dilapidated and just worn. Worn. So let's get into these cards first since this is what we're starting off with. This card says walk about. You discover your path in sacred walkabouts. The trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. In indigenous lessons, you will find the way to survive. So again, I'm really feeling Libra like you're recalling something. It's something that you created, you creatively put out there to the universe. And I feel like you are calling it back you are like walking around I, I, something that you abandoned and it's like maybe i can i will have more space this is what i'm getting now someone has like an old family house an old cottage or something ain't nobody been to in years ain't nobody been using ain't nobody thought about you guys created a business. You've been working in your business from home and things like that. you just been working in your little space in your dining room table where y'all don't even eat at your dining room no more. And it's like, I need some more workspace. I need something. And it's like, when you first started your business, it was small, right? But now that things are starting to spread, it's like... You're having to make things in more bulk and things. And it's like whatever the last batch of whatever you made, it did it have the same potency or quality of which it was before when it was of a more small scale thing. And you don't even have enough space in your environment no more. And I feel like this is an old cottage, somebody's family, to some house or some property or something that you have. I don't know if you're about to buy it, but I feel like you have been walking about trying to find like, Something that you can rehab or refurbish or something. It's like this shit look fucked up. But I know once I come in here and I put my blood, sweat and tears in this. Like you're just walking about this environment, this space. And you just you can see yourself making this work for you. And what you're trying to do for your company and your business. And it's like. Not that you. It's like you know how to survive the storm. You know what I'm saying? It's like to relocate, to refocus my energy. To first off, if I'm going through a hazardous time in my life where I feel like it's going through a whole bunch of craziness in my time, check my environment. Like that was something that Libra learned last year. I need to pay attention to my environment. You know what I'm saying? It might not, it might be not enough space. You know, even this environment may not to other people look like the best 
thing like why would you buy that why you don't have the vision baby when I'm walking around this when I'm walking around this I'm seeing my vision well, I'm gonna put this right here I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that you know so walk about I feel like as you just walk around like you're going to gather and collect yourself and things are going to come clear to you and you're going to like have the vision you're going to get the vision you know what I'm saying you're going to get the picture sunset it says time here turns to release and unfurl old cords of pain fade as the sun light burns it says pass this card on Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sun light burns. Pass it on. So, with this card to me, now I'm getting another scenario. I'm getting someone that has literally cut a cord um, spiritually physically has like really removed their self from something and they're starting from scratch they're starting new they need more space you're walking around trying to see what you can do what you can manifest what you can afford and again this don't look like much it look fucked up but i'm trying to tell you if you know how to put blood sweat and tears in this and rehab it and make it your own this is like someone who took like a fixer upper, bought that shit for nothing, invested a lot into it, and is about to turn that shit into a fucking million dollar property. And they only spent $50,000 on that shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's about having that vision. And number one, just not even being scared. Having a vision and not being scared to jump out there on it. Like you guys have cut away from something and... It's, that's like just getting your first place. And it's like, it, I know that other people don't look like a, a lot, but it's just perfect for me. Like, it's just perfect for me. Old cords of pain fade. It's like you're able to see the vision. Like I said, walking around, looking at the sunset, like feeling that energy of just closure. You know, Sunsets every day, it's closure of that day for the sun to rise for a new one. And it's like you're feeling so blessed as the sun rises and the sun sets every day. You see how your life is changing and these phases are turning and things are opening up to you. And a lot of things that you used to hold on to that was blocking you before is being passed on and it's being washed away. Listen, power, baby, you got the fucking full moon. Libra, I am not going to fucking play with y'all today, bitch. Girl. Excuse me, with the full moon? With the power? Bit, you know what, Libra? Libra, I am not going to fucking play with y'all today. I am not. Not with y'all coming through and enjoying and skipping. Listen, they say that you're walking about in the sunset, releasing old chords, looking at shit that motherfuckers don't even realize as value and seeing how you could turn around and make a profit on shit. Do you understand? This is someone that got a keen eye on value. People see, people just want something to just be already set and already made and just given to them like that. They ain't trying to work hard. They ain't trying to hustle for it. Baby, this full moon, this is you being an optimum power, baby. Look at her, honey. Look at her. Sure, that is a goddess of infinite power. What we got over here, honey? We got the two of cups, bitch. You know what? I can't. You know what? Leave her up, girl. Libra, baby, baby boy, baby boy. Okay, <laughs> do that like be some up. Baby boy, listen, you got the two of cups. With the power, you guys are finding soul connections, deep vibes. You guys are networking. You guys are meeting people that meet you on the same page, on the same level. Anything else, get a shovel and put it in the ditch. We ain't got it. We ain't got it to do like y'all are on the correct wavelengths to just like manifest. Use this power and just to manifest everything that you want. Like you are pouring into something and it's pouring back into you and it just it just works and it just jokes. So I want to say this in a, in, a, in a, like y'all could have just met somebody that at the end of the day, they might look a little rough. They might not be perfect. No man no woman is perfect. 
And people around you could be like, why are you walking over there? Why are you talking to that person? Like, you, like that's what you, what, what, what? But you don't see what I see. You don't see what I see. And y'all know what me and my girlfriend was just talking about this the other day. Isn't it funny? This is how I used to be back in high school. You could be talking to somebody. Ain't nobody paid no attention to this motherfucker until you started talking to this person. Once you started talking to this person, this person started smiling. You guys started pouring energy into each other's life. Y'all putting the glow on each other. Now, all of a sudden, and listen, the thing that everybody was like, why are you talking to him? Uh -uh. Now, all of a sudden, he got that glow on. He got that show on. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, you all worried about what with my man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he, he ain't dusty no more, huh? Yeah, won't you put some good pussy on him? Girl, let me try, let me shut up. Let me try. Let me tell you what some good pussy it do. What some good dick it do you? What some good dick it do you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm so serious. Listen, what we got here? Oh, we got the five of wands, honey. Y'all say, hold on, back up, bitch. Don't cross. It's, it's, it's like... You, you, you are in your power right now. I feel like you guys have made a powerful connection. And you're telling bitches, listen, I know that you think you can peep the bitch. You cannot compare to me at all. Please do not cross me. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. And I got the power, bitch. I got the power. You guys, listen, you see that phoenix rise? You see that phoenix telling that line to back up? Now listen, I don't know if it's a Leo prowling around purring around your destination your situation is something that people didn't listen you was just walking about and stumbled up up on a blessing now people just want to listen they see you basking in the sunset Ooh. okay what is this this is the ace of cups is it not this is the ace of cups Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. This is the Ace of Cups, y'all. You guys are in love, Libra. I feel like you guys are standing up for yourself. You are protecting. You are guarding this person, this thing, this energy, this, you know, temple. This thing that you, like... I don't think, I think people walk past this every day and didn't see it for what it was. You seen it for what it was and it's like, I feel so powerful. I feel like this is a spiritual revelation to me. I feel so open and I'm being gifted with such a blessing right now. Like y'all hoes is not about to play with me. Like I will smack a thorough piece of shit out your ass. If you come over here fucking around with me. Like I'm tired of bitches playing with me. Don't play me. Play lotto bitch. You better off. Don't play with me. You see the way this man carry me? You see the way this man hold me down? You see the way this man hold me down? Like I don't have it to do. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having too much fun. I am not going to compete. What I don't compare to. But I will be a bitch ass like I'm sorry that is literally what this five of wands is giving me because it's like now that you done dust this situation off you don't put your power and your energy into it and now y'all over there vibing cooling doing what y'all do motherfuckers want but like, oh what's that over there no bitch I will smack you in your face give me back the fuck up and stop fucking playing with me for real for real cause you ain't met a bitch with some for real power that bitch that know her power bitch I will punch you in your by cuspid bitch I know you can't punch a bitch in her by cuspid but just follow me bitch just follow me now that was going on over here we got the child in the reverse here what's going on with this child in the reverse and then what is this you got the world so, um, I feel like there might be a situation here with a child that, uh, I don't want to say that the child is hidden. Uh, this child isn't hidden. I feel like this might be the child's mother that is trying to cross a boundary or something like that. And maybe trying to use this baby as some type of influence to like continuously feel like they have a like this is someone trying to one up on you because of this child but i feel like this child 
is already taken care of like in in, in in with this world moving here I don't know if because whoever this is has moved on um this woman could be feeling fucked you know what I'm saying like this this is someone that could have a child with this person and it's like this person has moved on without them it's like um I feel like this person could have went through a hard lesson, a hard journey. It might be hard to see this person with someone else. And that's probably, it's like, because there's love here. There's love here. There's love and there's someone here to protect this shit. And you see the way that this man is performing intercourse on this woman. I want to say it hurts. Like, it's something about... The progression in the way the world is turning in this situation, it hurts. Like, this girl could be having sex now with someone that isn't, it's not as pleasurable or something like that. I don't feel like this woman, I don't feel like this woman is enjoying herself. And she's holding a mirror in her hand or something. It looks like she's holding a mirror in her hand. And there's like some like little books or something in the back. So I feel like it's hard for this woman to look at this child because of how things had to. I feel like it's hard for this woman to face this child and look at this child and deal with this child. I feel like this child reminds her of something that she from her past something that was what she felt like she had she got fucked and you see this mirror it's like a reflection of a time in her life where she wasn't enjoying herself in the intimacy where she was enjoying herself and I feel like this person is trying to move past that but I feel like this let me see let me see here this is the Knight of Wands. And, then, and this is a woman. So, the Knight of Wands is something that's coming fast. Something that's very passionate. Something that, like, someone has a spark of something. This is something new. This is something new coming into your life. You understand? So, I really do feel like there's a situation where... There's the phoenix here. Cause I, and look, and look. There's the phoenix. This is the knight of wands, this female. And as you can see, this is a female. So, for my Libras, especially my Libra males, my Lib I, you know, y'all have to take it how it resonates. I want to say that there's this woman shooting her shot. I don't know if you guys jumped out there. But I feel like this person is sending out a line of communication. I feel like this person is very, very driven about finding some type of passionate love connection in their life. I don't know if this Libra jumped in your DMs or something like that or what. But I feel like this is something that the Libra didn't want to wait on. But there's someone being guarded. And then again, on the flip side, this could be the Libra taking her power back, finding new love connections. She's moving past a part of her world and her life where it was painful and it was hurtful. And I feel like she may be regretting her child's father. She may be trying to keep him out because she's having new love connections right now. You know, she may have had to find a new place, had to start all over. And it may look like wherever she's living right now, like she could be living in the hood or just like a rough area. But it's like when you walk into her home, it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? But it's like someone having to get it out the mud right now. And they had to do that to get over the past. I feel like this person needed a project to put their heart into 
to get their power back to build yourself up from you know what i'm saying and i feel like this woman is protecting that so she might be telling whoever this man is this could be the father of this child you understand she could not be letting this person see her child right now because she's protecting her children. She's protecting her home. I feel like she's protecting her world, her new beginnings. She's in a new connection of love. She don't want this person coming in, fucking up her shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's either one way or the other. It's Libras, you guys just met a guy. And this guy could have a child with a woman that he may not be involving the child too much into y'all's relationship because... I feel like he's trying to build on his love connection and is passionately going strong and things are, you know, moving fast. You know what I'm saying? So, and I feel like it's your power. It's you. I feel like it's the woman that brought forth this connection. So, I feel like he wants to hold on to that and he may be blocking or you might have to block out a mother of a child or something like that. Let's see what this is. Courtship in the reverse. Courtship in the reverse. And the child in the reverse. What is this? The seven of pentacles in the reverse. So, I feel like this woman, this Libra woman, she is taking her power back. She is most definitely, I'm... This, this is movement. This is movement, okay? This is like someone literally being in a vehicle, like, going from place to place to place to place to place to place to place. Like, you guys may be, like, bouncing around right now a little bit. Like, you guys could be dating around and not possibly looking for, like, courtship. Maybe you guys might not have time to invest you guys don't have the energy to invest you guys are not willing to do the research enough to make something grow or or or, or something like that i don't i don't i don't know why <laughs> but the seven of cups in the reverse is like i mean the seven of pentacles in the reverse is basically saying like someone that isn't paying attention like they don't have enough time to pay attention like this person could be going, could be dating around and making deep soul connections because they feel like they're in power right now. And I really do want to say that they're in search of love. And in this world card right here, this world card is another card of travel, of moving to a new place, of moving to a new destination, of new beginnings, of, you know, learning something from an old foundation so that you can be stronger in your in your new one very interesting what is this the two of wands i don't is this woman like wants a player shit right now and then you got the imprisonment card wow so okay this is what I'm getting, you guys. I feel like someone might get locked up for child support. I feel like someone is... Go I feel like there's a man that's going to get locked up for child support. I feel like there's a woman that's taking her power back. Like, she's not dealing with no bullshit. She's really looking for a love connection right now. She's keeping that person out. You know, like, this person could have came to the house to see the child. This motherfucker was not going to see no child at all. This motherfucker was going to get fucked because this woman's tired of this nigga's bullshit. And she's ready for her world to move on. And she's tired of getting fucked by this person. The sunset. It's like the end. Like, it's finally over. It's finally setting this energy. It's finally being released you know what I'm saying? Because this person is looking for someone that can really balance her, that can really love her, that can really give her every single thing that she's given to it. Um, I feel like she's tired of back child support. She's tired of listening to people's false ac accusations on her, false accusations. Um, and this person is the one that isn't doing the right things. Like this person hasn't been... 
I want to say hasn't been courting the child. Like this person hasn't been coming to see the child. This person hasn't been paying attention to the child. Hasn't been doing like this child could have been growing. Has could have been growing without this person. You know what I'm saying? And this person isn't paying attention to the growth. And the child right now could be spoiled rotten because because like this like seven of pentacles in the reverse is like spoiled fruit and i'm not saying that anybody's child is spoiled fruit i'm just saying like the child could be experiencing like tantrums or something like that because the lack of the father the lack of the courtship of the fact that there's not like a balanced loving mother and father environment in the house you see what i'm saying like the father doesn't come around to see the mother doesn't want to court the mother no more and doesn't want to court the, the child anymore you know and i feel like maybe the person only wants to come around the mother unless she wants to fuck you know what i'm saying like if it's some sex involved like the man to come around but if he can't have sex with the woman he ain't around and i feel like that's the reason why she's just like it's time for me to step into my power because I don't think that I don't think that it's the best thing for her child to grow up and witness this. Like only when your father wants some pussy, he'll come around and take care of you. But he really ain't watching you. He really ain't paying attention to you. He's really not focusing on making sure that this child is growing right and has the right type of environment. And that's why this woman is standing up for herself and being um, and you know being firm and keeping this motherfucker out she's tired of being fucked and not only that I feel like this woman really wants love she really wants love I feel like she doesn't want a relationship with this person no more Um, cause this person is too focused on a relationship with other people and not focused on a relationship with their child and that's why this woman is moving on we have a few cards of movement here you know what i'm saying so like we just gotta look at that what it is i feel like this woman is throwing her shot out there and she's galloping forward and she may be dating and she may be bouncing around right now just taking some time just to connect with new people and she's trying to experience new love you understand i, I don't feel like for whatever reason with this knight of wands i feel like she's shooting her shot this time i don't know if this is something that you've never done before or if this is something that you normally do if you see something you like you you shooting your shot out there it might be a situation like where everywhere you go you might find someone that you have like a little connection with you know and it's like as long as this nigga going to jail for not paying me my child support and not coming to see my child, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really do feel like that this woman is stepping into her power. She's setting boundaries and she's getting over shit from the past and she's just dating right now. Bottom line. I don't even feel like she's even looking for a relationship because she doesn't want to be in, she doesn't want to be in prison. You see what I'm saying? She does not want to be in prison by no relationship right now. I feel like she's just dating around and enjoying herself. And enjoying new connections. You got the two of cups and you got the ace of cups. So there definitely is going to be some new love coming into your life. Libra, just enjoy yourself and take and take it one at a time. You know what I'm saying? Because as you see, you got two different wands. So you could be courting two different dudes right now. And that's why you definitely don't have time for this shit. You understand? I'm saying, uh-uh, nigga, you're you not about to be just like, what? You coming over here to say what? Or you texting me to say what? Yeah, you could come over. Yeah, you could come over and see your child. Come on and see your child, bitch. You ain't seeing no child, but your ass going to fuck the jail. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you that, okay? So you can go ahead with the setup if you want to. Look, she going to shoot her shot out there. You're like, yeah, you don't you want to come over? Oh, you want some pussy, right? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, she is fully in her power. She is not playing with you. But you is going to be met at the door like, oh, bitch, where you thought she was going? Boop, boop, boop. Clank, clank. Your ass is in jail. I'm sorry. Listen. Y'all continue to walk about. Continue to walk about. Again, you discover your path in sacred walkabout. The trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. The indigenous lessons you find. The will to survive. The sunset. It says, time here turns to release and unfurl old cords of pain as the sun." Uh, as the sunlight burns. So this has been y'all reading. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, 
I know the energy kind of bounced around a little bit. But I feel like there's a little piece of something in each story for everybody. Um, because I definitely, someone is most definitely going to jail. You think you're coming to see your child, but you're going to jail. Because you ain't, you ain't been paying attention to your business. You have not been, whoever this person is, has not been paying attention to their business, to their children. You know? It's like this child could have been staying up all night expecting you. Because like still even the seven of pentacles could be represented as a woman expecting childbirth and waiting for, you know what I'm saying? You know, so you could be overdue. Like this could be long overdue. Like they should have been locked your ass up. You understand? You, 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 you been short on the money. You been, this, this child been ain't seen you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, because you think you could come through with like, no, this bitch going to send your ass right to jail. And she going to show you, listen, I don't, I don't do the talk, talk and the play, play no more. You gonna listen to what I say, say though. I don't do the talk, talk, and the play, play no more. But you gonna listen to what I say, say, my nigga. Cause you better late, low. Ha! We gone. Out.